Hello out there! Today we are taking a look at JT Marsh and his aerial attack exo frame. This is from the Exo Squad line. Uh, in some ways, this is like the Optimus Prime character of the Exo Squad line. There were several versions of this dude. Um, this is a really cool toy line. It's kind of more amazing the more time goes by just to think that something like this was available at retail for a you know, pretty decent price. I mean, all prices seem expensive at the time. That's the truth of uh, pretty much any type of, you know, commerce item that you're talking about, be it bass guitars or toys or cars, engine parts, it doesn't matter. At the time, it seems expensive, but in hindsight, it's amazing that they what they were able to do with this line. Super cool line. Anyway, um, I was messing with these and it made me realize I haven't done a video on them in a long, long time. So, I've got a couple here and we will take a look at them. Um, this one is a great example of everything that they they did with this line. It's got some simple gimmicks like if you turn this you know sort of a, a machine gun style sound very cool. Um, the wings can't fly if you don't have wings right but if you go one click further missile fires. So integrated gimmick love it it's super cool. Now in terms of uh, articulation and stuff like that, the pilot, they, they made it so that the guy could actually uh, hold the handles and pilot the robot. They do pop off, though, if you use the full range. So I'm going to get him out of here before we take a look at the, uh, the full frame here. So to remove him, you'll just pop open all of these very cool... openings there, little hatches. He does have a clip that holds him in. And then one of the cool things about this line, I mean, look at this attention to detail here. He actually has like a uh, neurological tether that plugs into a port in the back of the figure, allowing him to control it. And if we just look at the pilot compartment real quick, you can see not a lot of paint, but you can see they've, uh, you know, they've got some honeycomb pattern here. Uh, cool little sort of, you know, soft head pillow thing. Here's his uh, tie-in. I mean, it's not it's not blank. It very well could have been, but they took the time for some extra detail. Really good job, especially for Playmates. JT Marsh himself. These are very well articulated figures. My leg is like super loose. These these toys. I can't say that the figures or the suits really hold up that well, especially if they were played with. They they always have like a couple weak points that tend to crack, but Anyway, pretty well detailed and pretty well articulated. They're very similar to G.I. Joe articulation and in a pretty small size. I mean, if you look at uh, him compared to a mask figure, which is, of course, you know, kind of the most natural comparison, you can see they're only slightly taller and... Um, I don't know, the proportions are a little different though. When I look at this guy, I mean, he, he looks like he should be like a, you know, like a dude that's 5'2 or something like that proportionally, as opposed to this guy who looks like, you know, a six foot tall person proportionally. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Also, not here nor there is a Kotobukiya Hexagear pilot. These two, as you can see, very similar, very true 124 scale. This guy's a little bigger. Unless he's meant to be just an enormous dude with a huge head. Who knows? The mech itself has loads of cool stuff going on. Take a look at this one since I've already fired the missile. You can see all the detail. Now, unfortunately, they have stickers, but a sticker's better than nothing. And there's so much molded detail. Um, details like this, uh, the piston. I mean, how cool is that? It's it's just plastic, but it actually works. You can hear the clicking, the the clicks of the ratcheting joints. Overall, really well made. It's just a shame that these all have kind of these fatal flaw parts that tend to break on each one. This is a pretty pretty solid design overall, though. Um, you can see right here on the feet, and it does have articulation. 
keeping in mind that there's a pilot figure that has to fit in it, they've kind of limited it so that you're not just ripping the characters apart inside. Let's see on the wing here. This has some stickers. This will swivel up and down. You know, a sticker for the uh, intakes up here on the top. Even the back. Obviously, that's where they put all the screw holes, but that's fine. And you still have, you know, damage, damage stickers on there, and just tons of detail. Looks really cool. Really dig these. So there we go. A quick look at an Exo Squad Mech. Thank you so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed. I really do dig this line. Uh, there's man, if, if there was, if I could go completist on this line, it would be dangerous because they have so much cool stuff. Really recommend looking into it if you haven't. Just make sure you're getting ones that are uh, intact. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Until next time.